we have sufficient knowledge of unit impulse signal and unit step signal now we will find out relation between unit impulse signal and unit step signal I will first draw the waveform of unit impulse signal delta tau when tau is equal to 0 delta tau rises to infinity and if you want to calculate the area of delta tau then you need to integrate delta tau with respect to d tau and if you integrate it from minus infinity to infinity you will have area equal to 1 this is the property of unit impulse signal let's say this time here is equal to t and you want to integrate delta tau from minus infinity to t and as you can see t is less than 0 we have area equal to 0 because delta tau from minus infinity to t is equal to 0 and integration of 0 is equal to 0 so we have area equal to 0 when t is less than 0 if t is equal to 0 or greater than 0 then the area then the area will be 1 when t is greater than or equal to 0 because when t is greater than or equal to 0 then from minus infinity to t delta tau is not equal to 0 from the definition of unit step signal ut is equal to 0 when time t is less than 0 and it is equal to 1 when time t is greater than 0 and we also made one assumption that ut is equal to 1 when time t is equal to 0 so in this result we can replace 0 by ut because when time t is less than 0 ut is equal to 0 and when time t is greater than equal to 0 ut is equal to 1 so we can replace this 1 by ut so if we integrate the unit impulse signal we will have the unit step signal this is the relation between unit impulse signal and unit step signal when two functions are related by integration they are also related by differentiation so if we differentiate the unit step signal we will have the unit impulse signal now we will try to obtain this result using different approach we assumed ut is equal to 1 when time t is equal to 0 but in reality the signal is discontinuous at time t equal to 0 the waveform of unit step signal is like this at time t equal to 0 the signal is discontinuous this is 1 this is 0 now I will consider a signal u delta t which is equal to 0 till time t equal to 0 then it starts to rise linearly till time t equal to delta and after this it is equal to 1 and this signal is u delta t and you can see the relation between ut and u delta t ut is equal to limit delta tends to 0 u delta t if this delta is equal to 0 this duration delta is equal to 0 then u delta t is nothing but the standard unit step signal let's try to find out the slope the slope is equal to 1 by delta and we already know the slope is equal to first derivative of the signal so d u delta t by dt is equal to 1 by delta but this is the slope only when time t is less than delta and greater than 0 so we can define the slope of signal u delta t like this it is equal to 1 by delta when time t is less than delta but greater than 0 and it is equal to 0 elsewhere so this is how we can define the slope of signal u delta t and now I will plot the waveform of the slope I will plot the waveform of the slope the slope is equal to 0 
till time t equal to 0 after this it becomes 1 by delta and it remains 1 by delta till time t equal to delta time t equal to delta the height is 1 by delta the base is delta and if you calculate the area then it is equal to base multiplied with the height which is equal to 1 and if you reduce the base if you reduce the base this means if you reduce the duration of time in which signal u delta t is rising from 0 to 1 the height the height or slope will increase you can see from this waveform if I reduce delta then slope will increase on reducing delta the slope will increase and when slope increases the height of rectangle will also increase and the area will always remain unity and this is the condition of unit impulse signal by using this condition when delta approaches to 0 1 by delta the height of this rectangle or the slope of signal u delta t approaches to infinity so at t equal to 0 we have impulse and if you see the waveform of signal u delta t when delta approaches to 0 we have the waveform like this and in this waveform you can see slope slope is equal to infinity so we have unit impulse signal by differentiating u delta t but there is one condition in this the first derivative of signal u delta t is equal to unit impulse signal only when only when delta tends to 0 and when delta tends to 0 u delta t will become the standard unit step function so we can write we can write d u t by dt equal to delta t because when limit delta tends to 0 u delta t is equal to standard unit step function so differentiating unit step signal we have the unit impulse signal I will summarize what we have learned till now I will summarize what we have learned if there is unit impulse signal and you integrate the unit impulse signal you will have the unit step signal and if you have unit step signal and you differentiate the unit step signal you will have the unit impulse signal and if you remember the unit ramp signal lecture we obtained the relation between a unit ramp signal and a unit step signal on integrating the unit step signal we had the unit ramp signal and on differentiating the unit ramp signal we had unit step signal now what is the relation between a unit impulse signal and unit ramp signal from this you can see on double integrating the unit impulse signal we have the unit ramp signal on double integrating the unit impulse signal we have the unit ramp signal and on double differentiating the unit ramp signal we have the unit impulse signal on double differentiating the unit ramp signal we have the unit impulse signal so this is the relation between a unit impulse signal unit step signal and unit ramp signal